I think the most common misperception is that you need to have symptoms in order to have a colonoscopy. So many patients think that because they're not having any problems that they really don't need to be screened. Another issue is that some people believe that this is a male predominant disease but the incidence between men and women is essentially equal. I think there's a misperception that this is an expensive examination for patients and for most patients it really turns out to cost very little if, and many times nothing. Uh, this is a covered benefit for screening for anybody of Medicare age and for typically for anybody over the age of 50. For many people feel as though this is an uncomfortable procedure and it really isn't. And the only part that's at all unpleasant is the preparation for the procedure which takes a day before and has, a drink, has you drinking uh, a laxative preparation for the day prior. But once you arrive it's typically painless and most patients when they wake up don't really remember having anything done and aren't really sure why they were so worried about the procedure. One common myth of the procedure is that will actually give you bad news. Uh, and in fact, most patients actually have very few, if any, polyps and typically no findings. So uh, for most patients, they end up leaving with a very favorable prognosis and usually an invitation to come back in five to 10 years. So I think many patients come in fearing the worst and then they end up getting good news almost invariably. There are several screening guidelines. Uh, colonoscopy is thought to be the gold standard. It's probably the most effective test available and it will pick up uh, about 95 to 100 percent of colon cancers when they're present. And the other advantage is that it'll also pick up polyps that are typically precancerous and we can remove those. And unlike the other technologies that are available, it's the only one where you can actually remove lesions that could turn into cancer. And that would typically be done every 10 years if you have no special risk factors. If there's a family history or other risk factors, we would discuss that with you before so that you had an idea of what the appropriate interval would be for the exam. Well, we know that this isn't uh, an exam that people look forward to, and we, we certainly realize that. And we try to make the experience as pleasant as we can. So we, when you arrive, you'll see that our, the facility is set up for this kind of procedure. We're particularly efficient at getting patients uh, ready to go home as quickly as they can. And when they leave, they actually get a silver platter with uh, snacks and, uh, and our good wishes so that um, their recovery uh, is quick and that they go home and, and really have a pleasant day.